Okay, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Let me apologize for that first. And um, fill you in on what's been going on. This is my week 19 pregnancy update. We uh, went in and had some testing done. Maternal alpha fetal protein serum, something like that. Um, done a couple weeks ago and um, then two weeks ago Friday we heard back from the doctor and he said that he wanted to do an amniocentesis that there were some um, low numbers that he was concerned with uh, particularly reasons to believe that the baby might have Down syndrome um, and he wanted to come in wanted me to come in for an amniocentesis so we did that that following Monday, which was two weeks ago today, and we got the results back, and praise the Lord, everything uh, looks good. Give me not show everybody your butt. The um, doctor said that uh, sometimes you just have those low numbers and you don't ever find out why, but um, he said everything looks good. He'll just monitor me a little more closely, like every two weeks instead of every three to four weeks. Um, and watch the the growth of the baby. Are you okay? And my blood pressure and stuff like that, which has all been fine so far. Um, that was one of the concerns um, after I got pregnant was to make sure that I was eating enough to nourish the baby. And the baby is actually measuring just a little bit bigger than um, my gestational age, so that was good. Um, so what's been going on since my last update I've felt the baby move I've been filling it now for a few weeks um, probably week 16 ish is when I think I started to feel it like a little flutter in my belly um, felt it quite a few times on, on our way to Greenville I guess just being in the car and relaxed and everything the baby liked that so um, but now the more that he moves, I can tell that that is definitely what I've been feeling. Um, speaking of feeling, I've had the, that uh, round ligament pain down in the lower abdomen where the, the muscles that support the uterus and the abdomen and everything, I guess. I'm not a medical person, but um, I guess those are stretching. So yesterday was really bad, but... Um, I'm getting farther along in my pregnancy, plus Saturday uh, we went over to the old house, excuse me, and cleaned up and moved stuff around and everything, so I'm sure that that didn't help at all. Um, what else? I haven't really had any other symptoms, thankfully, like um, being sick or anything like that. That's pretty much gone for the most part. I do notice if I wait a little bit longer to eat, I do start feeling a little uh, maybe shaky or a little weak. Um, but I think I have low blood sugar, so. Um, baby's getting bigger. Um, it's getting harder to find a comfortable position at night because I'm a stomach sleeper. And um, while I can still sleep on my stomach, just because the baby's getting bigger, he like pushes against my bladder, which is not comfortable. So uh, I've been trying a few tricks with the pillows and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure there's been plenty of stuff that I should have updated you all on. But um, while we were waiting for the results back from the amnio, we were just on pins and needles. Um, but we are blessed. So um, let me show you some of the gifts that we got. When we were in Greenville, and we had a, a great time in Greenville, I, I was going to do a video. Um, I was as, had actually just gotten out of the shower and was getting dressed to do the video that Friday before my doctor called so that I could talk about the meet and greet that we had in Greenville, but it didn't work out that way. But we got this from, make sure you can see it, from Cammie and Richard, which was just so unexpected and so sweet. And this little blanket. This way. And this 
It was a night, not for dogs. It was a night before Christmas book. Um, I think I was more touched by the book because we we really want to. Um, I'm a big reader, and AJ wants the baby to certainly follow that. So um, we're already in a book club for the baby and everything. So that's going to be very important to us. So the book was just spot on. Um, and then from Donna, we got this, which Giovanni has already tried to claim. She actually tried to get it out of the bag. She got it out of the bag when we first got back home from Greenville. And then we also got Little Duck. Watch the glare. Little Duck washcloth and, no, not for dogs. Washcloth and towel. And a little rubber ducky from Donna. Thank you, guys. Um... We have thank you cards, but once again, with the move, I'm sure you could tell from the background that we're not in our house anymore, with the move and everything going on with the baby, we just haven't really, uh, yeah, haven't been focusing on much else. Plus, I'm at the end of my semesters at school, so I have finals and um, projects and everything due. So, um, other symptoms. My allergies are worse now, are worse now, um, have a stuffy nose all the time, or blowing my nose all the time, um, irritable, oof. Um, mood swings, just pissed off for, I don't know why, um, <laughs> but, um, I'm pregnant, so I try not to complain too much or even, you know, note a lot of the symptoms because I don't want to complain. I've, I've been on the other side where we've tried to get pregnant and it wasn't happening, so I'm trying my best not to complain for this one, but um, this one likes her new apartment. You like it here? Yeah? She likes... Um, all the people that we see outside, she gets distracted, so, but, um, I think that's it. We're going to get back to doing more cooking videos. I actually made a buffalo chicken salad yesterday that was very, very good, so now that we know that it's good, stop it, not for dogs. So now that we know that it's good, I'll do a video on it. It was really simple, too, so, um, we actually did a few, uh, meals on our menu this week that I'm going to make videos out of, so um, a jambalaya, a couple soups, stuff like that, so um, be on the lookout for those, and AJ has reached his 100 pound loss mark, and oh, we're having a boy, so um, everything's good, we're going to go have an ultrasound tomorrow, and hopefully I'll start doing those weekly updates or at least updates more um, frequently than I have been doing. So, I, again, I encourage you all, if you have any questions about um, pregnancy or life after gastric bypass, please let me know. I will do my best to answer those questions. And for the baby bump check, I'll try to do that. Fix my pants. These pants cut me right there, so it's hard to see, but there he is, Cory Jack. Bye, y'all.